Today we're with producer Smile High, who has worked with the likes of Black, Jason Derulo, and Leon Bridges. Join us as we dive into one of his Ableton sessions for the next 10 minutes to uncover exactly what makes his sound so good. Hey Smiley, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Really good, thanks. Really appreciate you taking the time to join us here at Boombox, the home of collaboration. Where are you based? Uh, Los Angeles, California. And you seem to be surrounded by a plethora of amazing synthesizers behind you. What is your go-to out of what we can see there? Man, it depends on the day or the mood, but uh, if I have to bring one synth to a session versatility wise i bring the profit rev to i can kind of get everything i need out of that amazing well we're going to dive into those synthesizers in a little bit more detail later but let's start off with the session that you're going to be kindly sharing with us today would you mind telling us a little bit about it and then letting us hear it i released an album last year called the vibe tape it's a collaborative album with myself my band the main squeeze and 15 uh, featured artists this is a song from that album that I released last year. It's featuring Davion Ferris and Coco Sarai. Sheesh. Uh. I've been needing a night like this. Uh, don't make me wait. If I diss you on, you must come get it. Me hear what you say. Two, one, pull me body when you deep, deep. Sheesh. Shut down. When me right, when the cocky send me six feet. Sheesh. Sweet. When you cut down so. I'ma push up on it. Kiss it till you want it. Take me to the morning. If that's how you like it. Until you retire, baby, take me higher. Every other clock is ticking. No, I'm in bed. I'm glad you go. If I stay up, you better fall through. So, Smiley, what is your desert island plugin? I find myself using Omnisphere as like my main VST synth and Valhalla Supermassive, mostly for vocals and for instruments and uh, thermal by output. Could you show us some examples uh, or some ways in which you use them in the session? I love using Supermassive as a throw where I'm just taking a, a bit of an end of a vocal phrase and I'm dragging it onto a new track and making the Supermassive all the way wet. You can see here. This might get you high. I'm just, I'm just use, I'm just putting it on like this word, where it's just high. It almost sounds like a, like a dub reggae delay. Is that where you got some of the inspiration from? I wouldn't necessarily say so, but I agree. It does sound like that. Let's take a look at your other Desert Island plugin, which is Omnisphere. So for Omnisphere, I've been using this for years and I actually have all all three spectrosonics between Keyscape, Omnisphere, and Trillion. And if I could, I would just say all three as like, I would, I would take spectrosonics with me to the desert island. Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of cool stuff that I get from Omnisphere. Everything from synth sounds, like... It's got some nice choir stabs. My lead sound that I use on stage. Just like really anything you think of, like it probably has it. Before we move on to checking out Smart High's other professional plugins and an incredible demo on his synthesizers, don't forget that these videos are made possible because of Boombox. Boombox is the home of collaboration where you can share, store, and synergize creativity, add files, share them with your collaborators with different levels of permission, add comments and feedbacks in the form of text and or voice notes, create projects, playlists, and connect with loads of other musicians, engineers, and much, much more. Sign up to Boombox today and get four gigabytes for free. Link is in the description below. Let's get back to the video. So you had one final Desert Island plugin for us. What is it? Yeah, um, Thermal. And I think I'm using this the most these days. Like right now, that's my favorite distortion plugin. It's a multi-band distortion. The way that this section, the different distortion types that you have, and and the ability to route it to LFOs or route LFOs to the different distortions so they have movement to them. And without it, and with it, so it just like adds a lot of character. It 
there's like built in delay and the effects just like get some really cool sounds can run a lot of things through it let's move on to your workhorse plugins i'll i'll probably keep valhalla vintage verb off of this but they have to get an honorable mention because they are actually on every song and that's similar also to pro q3 but some of the more fun stuff god particle i'm using on every song now this is the instrumental stems with nothing on the master So it's hard to know exactly what it's doing sometimes, but I know that it brings a lot of more excitement out of the track. One of my other workhorse plugins, I mean, this is cheating because it's looping a lot of them, but the sound toys effect rack um, and just sound toys in general. I think some of my favorites are Decapitator, Little Alter Boy, Echo Boy, Pan Man. Thanks for sharing those with us. We have one final tier, which is the special units that you like to use slash honorable mentions. The first special unit is a new one that I got pretty recently. It's called Life by XLN Audio. I remember seeing a video about this plugin that a friend sent me and he sent me a link of the demo and I just didn't really think I would use it on anything. I'm like, this looks cool and a little corny and I don't know that I would actually use it. And then we used it in a session at his place on guitar and I was blown away with how, how cool of a different pattern we were able to come up with. I bring up the app on my phone and I gather some instruments like the piano, a couple synth sounds that come out of my speaker, a couple drums and my voice. I press record on the life and I give 15 seconds of different things. Uh, this 15 seconds was using my phone on a walk where the store signal sounds like this. Just walking down the street with my girlfriend. Um, we like snapped a little bit. We were like touching. We were just messing it, messing around, and then a couple laughs, and that's 15 seconds. And then we bring it in, and right away, it just gives you so much stuff. So like, let's randomize it together right now. So versatile with the things that it could do between top loops. So like already like a really cool top loop and you can add kick just to feel out where the where in the time you are and then when you want to export it you can separate it by stem with and without the kick and drag it right back into the into the DAW and you have endless inspiration with something that you did on your phone instantly. Um, and I thought that was really cool. I have been looking at this plugin with a bit of a side eye, just thinking exactly the same to myself, like would I actually use this? But now that I know that you can do it from your phone, I think that makes all the difference. Yeah, absolutely. The phone bit is uh, definitely my favorite. What else have you got in store for us? Uh, the last one, I'll just shout out Red Panda is my favorite guitar pedal company. And I've always been a fan of using pedals with my keyboards. keyboard is my main thing and this is the dry sound with no reverb or delay um, it has a little vibe knob on it but i'll turn that down so you can hear the very dry signal and then from there i'll add uh, a couple of the pedals it loops it back immediately and then you can add like synths on top of it It's really fun to be able to loop on the spot with that pedal and throw a bass underneath it to give it new harmonic context. Um, and in the room, when I'm with producers or when I'm with artists, it's nice to be able to like throw something down, reverse it and loop it, and then throw a little bass line underneath and just see if something comes. And usually it amounts to like a really great starter idea. Smile High, thank you so much for joining us today. Do you have a couple of tips for producers out there that you wish you told yourself 10 years ago and what are they? Yeah, so I'd say some of the tips that I would tell myself to my younger self and to young upcoming producers is to have fun in the process of making music and try not to overthink it. It's uh, very easy to overthink the process and when something is good enough to share with the world or with an artist and for me it's just we're all on the journey in our own way and 
whatever chapter you're at in your story, it's beautiful for what it is. And don't hoard all of your ideas because if you don't spread them or at least share them with people, then they'll rot away on your hard drive and you'll never get the collaborations that you're hoping for and just find your tribe and work together with artists and producers and instrumentalists and writers that uh, you vibe with and uh, the rest will take care of itself. You heard it here first, collaboration is the key to success and no better place to do it than Boombox. Smile hi, thank you so much for joining us today. This has yeah. been incredible, very eye-opening. Great to see you using some familiar plugins that we all know and some not so familiar plugins and some incredible performances. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Smile hi, thank you for coming. Thank you, appreciate you man. It's been a pleasure as always. Welcome to Boombox, the home of collaboration. Peace.